Ray Diamond is too loyal back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another Paradigm Studios video. Racist Karen calls the cops on the wrong Latin man. Let's get into this, guys. Good morning. How are you today? I need 50. Premium, of course. Make it quick. Oh. What is taking you so long? Hurry up. The senator's wife is waiting for me. You heard me. The senator's wife. Hombre. Your car wasn't working, but... She, she really wanted to put that in his face so bad. But, but it's all good now. Service workers just aren't what they used to be. Fill it up. Chop, chop. Is there a problem, man? My car is one of a kind. A Berlin Deluxe, as they say in French. So, yes. He just want to flaunt all her, like, little rich stuff in his face and, and brag about who she's going to see. There is a problem if something should happen to it. I think you got a problem. I beg your pardon? The car is leaking. When was the last time you got an oil change? An oil change? <laughs> That's none of your business. If it's leaking puddles. He's trying to help you out, bruh. Like, what are you talking about? That's none of his business. He telling you your car is leaking. So why do Karens act so dumb when they want to be racist and somebody is literally just trying to help them out? Like, okay. He tried to tell you if you if you uh something happened to you on the road, it's on you. You are not gonna drive this thing for too long. Where are you headed? Are you gonna ask me for my social insurance number next? Look, I'm serious. If you are driving <laughs> far, you should be careful. I can do a quick old change in the garage if you got the time. It's just 50 bucks. Nice try, Chico. You should be ashamed of yourself. You come to our beautiful country and you try and take advantage of good, hardworking people like me? Wait, wait, wait. wait. You got this all wrong. I'm just trying to help you. He literally told you your car. Help yourself. This car is a luxury sedan. But she ain't hear nothing that came out of his mouth. Okay, your car leaking though. Who cares if it's luxury? My husband bought me this car from the dealer. I'm not gonna fall for your tricks. He tried to tell you. Mean here we go again. My car broke down and I require immediate assistance. He was trying to tell you you didn't listen to him earlier. You're the lady from this morning. Yes, and that's irrelevant to the point. I require immediate assistance. Hmm. It's kind of relevant because I told you this morning to get an oil change and you refuse it. Oh, so now guests in my country are talking back? Are you or are you not going to help you? me? No. Bruh, who is she? She act like she's somebody and nobody could talk back to her, but she could be rude to everybody else. I can know. All right, she closes at six. Do you know who I am? I am Cassandra Simmons, married to Ken Simmons. Yes, that Ken Simmons. He's a really big deal around here, okay? He owns five boats, three casinos. We have connections everywhere. We could become your worst nightmare. I'd try state roadside assistance or wait until tomorrow morning. That's your call. 
Who's that? Ooh. The girl. The girl in the back. Don't worry about the That's girl. That's my daughter. I don't believe that. I don't believe that one because bit. Because she's white. Hello? Hey, little girl. Hey. hey. Are you crazy? <gasps> don't touch me. I know you're kind. Oh, yeah. She go to be too quick to blame something on you for touching her, bro. You've got all the signs. All the signs. Shady demeanor, filthy clothes, and bad manners. And a gas station clerk. Tell me, how long have you been here in our great country? One month if I had to take a guess. What are you hiding her for? That's it. I'm calling the cops. That's his daughter, bro. You are insane. What do you think is going to happen when they get here and realize that she's my daughter? Hello, Francis? Yeah. The girl is old enough to speak up for herself, too. I would be like, that's my dad. Like, don't be yelling at him like that. Hi, yes. I've come across a serious situation here. A kidnapped girl. Really? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, as bad as it sounds. Where is it? The gas and go on 70 North, away from River Valley. Come quick. You need healing. Deep spiritual healing. Yeah, you do. Hello? Dad, what's going on? Who is she? What does she want? Don't talk to her, okay? She thinks that I kidnapped you and we don't owe her any explanation. We'll talk to the police when they get here. The police? Yes, that's right, the police. You heard that right, young lady. You won't have to cover for this illegal any longer. You people think you can swarm in here and take over the jobs of honest, hard-working Riversiders? We have hillbillies from River Valley that make perfectly fine labor workers. Perfectly fine. Who cares if they smell and don't have much tea? Wow. They deserve it better than you outsiders. This is their homeland, not yours, you hear me? You racist, racist, man. Oh, thank goodness you're here. Good evening, Cassandra. It's good to see you again. You two guys know each other? Be quiet. None of your business. This is an officer of the peace. You will speak when spoken to. Mm -mm. How's Schnookum's doing? Still dealing with that cat ulcer problem? Uh, she's fine, Cassandra. Thank you for asking. So, what's going on here? I see. What? What do you see? Well, it's suspicious, to say the least. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> what kind of cop are you? The kind that's gonna put you in chains if you don't be quiet. Bruh, don't tell me he racist too, bruh, and he taking her side. You see? I told you. Another dangerous, rude outsider. Who's the girl? <sighs> I'm not answering any question in front of this insane woman. He knows I'm onto him. I'm not leaving this spot. I tell you what. Why don't we go outside and we'll have a little conversation. And you can tell me your version of events. How does that sound? Stay behind the counter. Don't open the door. Don't speak to her. Okay. You can lead the way out. Well, he he nervous because the fact that they know each other or they're cool with each other, it's like uh, he more likely to be racist as well. You know what I'm saying? You know he's really my dad, right? I've seen enough stories of human trafficking to know one when I see one. You're not fooling anyone. Why are you doing this? Seriously. He said, if you think I'm being be tra trafficked, why are you being so mean to me? I'm supposed to be in danger, right? Everything was fine before you showed up. But you don't care, clearly. You're just a Karen who wants to get her own way. More lies. 
If he was really your dad, why would he keep you out here at this time of night? How irresponsible. Don't you have a mother? No, I don't. She's dead. She died of breast cancer. That... That's how my mom died. Yeah? That's why my dad's studying to be a nurse. Oh, but I forget. Why her dad's studying to be a nurse. You think he's an illegal and I'm just some random girl he kidnapped. But it's all right. The cop will see it's all a lie. Word of advice for the future. If you're going to be such a hateful person, at least come up with a story that makes sense. You cannot arrest me. You have no cause. I show you my papers. The law is the law. Your papers don't look legitimate. We're going to go down to the office. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, bro, the cop trying to arrest him? Office, and we're going to take a look at the you, a little more You detail. like ruining life, isn't it? Hmm? Is your life so pathetic you need to ruin others to make yourself feel important? What are you doing, this to us? Resisting arrest is a criminal offense. She feel Dad, bad. Look at him feeling you. bad. Why are you doing this? Do you see what's happening? Oh my God, Dad! Don't move! Evening, folks. What seems to be the problem? Uh, Agent Flannery, just dealing with a, a minor issue. Uh, what brings you here? Well, I saw a car illegally parked on the side of the road and it didn't bother me much, but I saw this on the ground. I couldn't read what was on there, but I saw a name and I ran that. Oksana Husanov. Turns out there's an international warrant for her since 1999. Oh. Oh, there's a warrant out for her arrest. And look at her trying to act like she about to buy some. Funny thing is, the plates were registered to a Ken Simmons. I didn't catch that on the way in. Uh, that's a good catch, Flan. Ma'am? Wait, so... The plates were registered to a Ken Simmons, so... Her name, her la I didn't hear him say her last name was Simmons. So did she steal that car from a Ken Simmons and then acting like she's his wife or something? That's not your car on the highway, is it? No, not at all. Well, that's funny because there's, there's only two police cars here and a truck, which I'm assuming is yours. No. So where is your car? Ma'am? I don't know if it can help, but I, I saw a woman walking toward River Valley and and it seemed weird because there is miles and miles before the next stop. Maybe you could catch up with her. That way? Yes. That way. He he helped her he bruh, he could have he could have got her in trouble. He could have let her get in trouble. But he helped her even how after how rude she was. Francis, what are you even doing here? You're supposed to be back filling out the reports at the station. You got 15 minutes to get back there, or I'm gonna write you up again to head office. Let's go. Yeah. Evening, folks. He was scared. Are they gone? Yes, they're gone. So, Oksana Husinov, fugitive since 1999. Uh, I don't know what you mean. Why did you come to America? Well, the, the truth. <laughs> yeah, she from a whole nother country. My mother died, and I had no one. My dad was a drunk, and the war made him worse. I ran away. You know, all people come here for all reasons. 
many similar to yours. I hope you remember that next time you try to keep it on people like us. Why didn't you give me away? Frankly, I don't think that should be up to me. I have a feeling you'll get caught eventually, though. Living a life can only last for so long. I, I'm not living a lie. I am Cassandra Simmons. Look, I bought you some time. Whatever you do with it. Okay, so I'm confused because I want to know, did she change her name to Cassandra? Did she meet Ken Simmons and they got married and that's how she got the name? Or is she pretending to be, is she pretending to be Cassandra Simmons, but really she don't know Ken Simmons, but then she got his car, which is registered out to him. So if she didn't steal the car, then she got to be married to him and been lying this whole time. But then she had that paper in her car with her real name. But then I'm thinking, okay, if she's married to Ken Simmons and everybody knows Ken Simmons, then the police officers should know her like that. You know what I'm saying? Should know her because she would be the wife. I don't know, but part of this just did not make sense to me. That's in here. You have a smart daughter. She's going places. I'm rooting for you. That's why you never, you never put hate on people. You don't know what a person is going through. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos and I'm out.